Hi, fellow traders. What's happening? I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know we did over here. We got to see some snow Friday night into Saturday morning. And then came the bright sunshine that just made everything look so beautiful. So we had a great weekend here. We don't normally see um, snow in Columbia, South Carolina. But um, this was a, a treat for us. Too bad it didn't happen Christmas. Um, but I hope you guys are off to a great start today. I know the day didn't start good for most of us with the data issue. You know, we thought it was just a DOS issue, but it wasn't. It was across multiple platforms. Um, my uh, Flow Algo wasn't working. Um, there were some other brokers that were having issues, but what surprised me was Thinkorswim did not mess up. Normally, Thinkorswim is the one that takes a crap when the volatility is high. So, really surprised that it stayed on track. So, looks like they got their stuff together. Everybody else is going to need to catch up. Um, but a really, really tough morning, but we were able to work through it and ended up being an incredible day. That's all I can say. It ended up becoming an incredible day. Um, but I'll share that with you here in a second. Let's talk about the market first. Um, if you were in the session yesterday, you know we talked about a couple of key levels here. Um, this 435-ish one, we talked about being... Um, We talked about this level here, this pivot here being um, key and that we put, could potentially sell through this before the market even opens. And that's exactly what happened. You can see we opened down here and we started selling hard. So we opened below this level and I honestly thought at that point we would get stuffed here. And that you that we would see a bounce between this level and this level here. Um, more, I honestly thought it would be 425. You know, sitting sitting right here, I thought we would be close to 425 for the bounce, but we could have bounced in here. But this thing came all the way down to this level right here, this pivot right here. And it held and it bounced, it bounced really hard. Um, this is a pretty bullish close and the market has been flat. I mean, I haven't seen any volatility to after market today, um, none. And it's, it's pretty surprising because normally we're, we're seeing some activity. We're seeing some trading and, and things going on. So, you know, I'm, I'm really surprised at, at what's going on here. Um, but tomorrow is going to tell the tale. We were expecting this. This is not unexpected. We talked about getting a dead cat bounce this week um, in the session yesterday. Uh, we were looking for it today into you know going into the um fed announcement you know the fed starts meeting tomorrow um powell comes out about two o'clock and gives his little remarks um you know i was expecting that bounce into those announcements and you know and if it was not what we wanted to hear we would see some overreaction in the market and we will start falling off a cliff again. So look, really like this, may be able to get a swing or two off to get to a target. Uh, we jumped in Peloton today. We'll look at that here in a minute. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So let's look at what we did today. Um, Netflix, you you cannot imagine how huge this trade would have been 
if I had been able to trade at the open. You know, we were having trouble with the date with DOS. Yeah, I could have flipped over and I could have gone and gotten into um gone to the thinkorswim and traded out of that but you can't see it you know the whole point of me streaming and trading live is so you could actually see me take the trades so if i was trading in thinkorswim you couldn't see it because of how crazy that platform is i couldn't hide the data that i needed to hide and it wasn't really set up for that so just wait till they get this stuff squared away and you know we can we can um trade and that's exactly what we did we missed this now the longer this thing went on the more frustrated i got but i was like okay let's just be patient and wait let's let the market you know there's going to be other days there are going to be other stocks just just chill out, sit on our hands, and, and wait for the market to tell us it's time to play. And that's what we did. We got the bounce, and it started to sell off. We came down, taking out this channel. I got in 100 shares here because we hadn't confirmed. Once we confirmed taking out this channel, I added another 100 shares. Um, didn't quite get to the 350 where I, what I wanted to see. It bounced. It rejected up here and when we got back down to this level and I started to see um, support build back in I went ahead and, and took some off but I was in the middle of a mentor session and accidentally instead of covering the hundred shares that I wanted to I actually covered 300 shares which put me long a hundred um, I didn't catch it at first. I was still thinking I still had that 100 shares short. But then when I saw the green, the green, I was like, I'm long 100 shares. And so by the time I realized it, we were um, testing the nine here. And I still thought this was pretty weak. And it didn't make sense for me to hold it long. So I took it off. And sure enough, I should have held it. You know, maybe it was trying to tell me something, but um, I didn't want to trade in these tight windows. You know, I don't like doing that. So I waited until we got a, a five point window here that we could trade in between these moving averages. It was clean and green all the way from where I got in to the, the 100 period moving average. So I got in on a confirmed move. Um, this candle closed above these levels. I got in on a confirmed move and took profit here. And then, you know, it rolled back over, stopped me out at break even. We pulled back, tested this level again. Look at the nine screaming up. Nothing but support is screaming, buy me, buy me, buy me. I bought it as soon as we broke the high of this candle here and started taking profit. Took some off up here at the, the 100. I left the piece on to see if we were going to get um, up here to the pre-market low. But we didn't. It came back. I ended up taking it off at break even. And then as we came back through, I went ahead and bought. As soon as we confirmed taking out the 100 again, we pulled back a little bit, which typically we see. And... It just took off. Was able to make a killer trade on this. Awesome, awesome trade. I cannot be more happier with with the trade than I am. Uh, I know I missed this. This could have been a huge, huge day for me. This, this I could have easily had a five thousand dollar day trading two hundred shares on Netflix. Easy. If I had done this and just stayed engaged to Netflix, this could have been an easy uh, $25,000 a day. But we'll look at the numbers here in a minute. Let's look at Peloton 
Um, this is the swing trade. I am looking for it to continue. Um, I'm looking for 3250 to 35 tomorrow. Um, looking for 40 by Wednesday. It, can we get it? We can get it, but are we gonna get the buyers? Are you know are we gonna get guys that wanted to buy this off the bottom and are excited about this? Because Peloton is a hell of a lot bigger than bicycles. You know, their intellectual property is worth more than them damn bikes. So once people start realizing that and realizing that that's where the money is, they'll be back in this. At least that's my two cents. But, um, you know, looking for this to take off, uh, continue pushing up tomorrow. Um, I did take an earnings trade on IBM that is crapping out. So just have to wait and see um, where this thing ends up. But it is crapping out right now. But, you know, time will tell. Let's, let's go back and look at the pretty trade. How about that? We'll look at the pretty trade. <laughs> um, but here's where I'm at. We're not done with the day yet, obviously. Um, Peloton. And what happened was... When we were having the data problems, I brought up the account that I'm swinging in and forgot to take it down. So when I started trading, I started trading in the wrong account. Um, so, you know, Peloton is a swing. So that's in here. Um, IBM, obviously the loss is a little bit more now. But, you know, again, this is earnings. It is volatile. It could sell off. It could get bought up. It could do anything. So just be patient. We're just letting it work itself out. Um, but I'll explain the the basic premise behind the earnings trades um, tomorrow in our in our webinar. Um, but twenty four fifty four forty one, and all of this came from Netflix. So that's why I said I could have traded this. I know I could have had a $5,000 day. And when, when we talk about growing your account, trading a small account, we're not talking about trading $2 stocks. We're, we're talking about trading, you know, high beta names. We're talking about trading mid and large cap stocks with smaller size that can make these big moves. This is what pays us. One of these a week, you know, I could quit trading today and be happy with $2,500 on Friday. I'd be happy with that. Because at the end of the month, I can uh, my account would grow. I could pay myself and live it up. Um, but that's going to wrap it up. Don't forget about the webinar tomorrow at 430 in the webinar room. Um, and we're coming right back Thursday with another one. Uh, so don't forget about those. If you like these uh, recaps, make sure you hit like. Make sure you subscribe. Let everybody know you like these. And I can keep them coming. So you, you guys stay safe. And have a good rest of the evening. I will see you in the morning.